So you want me to plug this in? Yes. And record. Got it. So you're actually gonna get this and somehow sync it up to the video? Yeah, I just need you to send it to me. Dude, that's crazy. Okay. I'll just, I'll just let it run. Let it run now. We'll see how long it takes. Yeah, let's see the start. Okay. 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 Check, 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 check. Alright. Alright. We're good. We're good. Just whenever you're ready. You ready? Yeah, okay. Party of two. Party of party two. Of two. Welcome, How's it going, everybody? everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Party of, of two. two. You got my... You got the, the table. <laughs> my bad. Already. See, great, great start. Great start. Great first line. Uh, this video is brought to you by... Uh, Two single men, two bachelors, in my room. When we when we spoke about it earlier, that didn't sound right. No, it did not. It's like two bachelors in a room. Have you ever gotten into a conversation at the wrong point? Like all the time. Come on. Yeah, we're both experts on that. You know, don't bring me into this. Come on, man. Like all the times we've experienced, just like going into a horrible, horrible timing. Horrible, horrible timing. You know, like. Let's 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 hear some horrible horrible times. You know, come on, like it's the know, craziest story that you walked into. I that think. Like, Whoa. I think that would be with. Oh, that's a good one, actually. I don't even know. I mean, you don't have to say names. But, but I can't. But I can't recall at the moment. Okay, so I'll let you recall. All right. What do we got here? Okay, so today we're gonna be trying some fries from Craw Daddy's. Craw Daddy's mm. local. What is it like? It's my first time. Sorry, first time going to well trying something from Crawl Daddy's. So that basically, they're to like a Cajun restaurant. Okay. Makes so they sense. specialize in Cajun food, like po boys, you know. Po uh, boy. What is it? The little. It's it immediately smells like that old bay seasoning. Ah, I know which one. Yeah. You use on. Uh, what's that? Caldo called the the one that has seafood. Um, Gumbo? Boil? Bro boil? Broil? Oh, boil? I'm not sure. Yeah, man. See, it I'm has, not. I, it, has, it has the mini corns. Oh, right? see. Like, and then it has um, shrimp. It has rice. It has. Wow. Anyway. That almost, like sounds, a, it almost sounds like a gumbo, but I'm pretty there sure. There you go. Oh, it's uh, gumbo? Yeah, I mean, it's a kind of like a gumbo. Of it. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so it's a local Cajun. Mm -hmm. uh, restaurant. restaurant. Okay, here in El Paso, Texas. To whoever's watching that is not from El Paso, but like, <laughs> hey, you're watching, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whether you're from here or not. So these are fries, right? You recommended the mm -hmm. fries. What is so great about these fries? You right? know what? I think it's just the sheer size of it. So these are, <laughs> if I'm mistaken, these are wedges. They're wedges? Yeah, wedges. I, like a wedge of lime. Uh, I mean, so it's more of like a spiral a, wedge? A U. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rob. You. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what is this sauce? So that's like a gravy. Um, my friend really likes that gravy, so you know we have ketchup on the side if that's not to your liking. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a go. Can, all right. I won't judge this book by its cover. So, all right. Like the Beatles said, all together now. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna shoot away from my. I hate to break it to you, but yes, they, they're regular wedges. They taste just like <laughs> regular wedges, KFC wedges, KFC. If you're watching, please sponsor us. Uh, no, but hey, this little sauce here, gravy uh, with what? It's, yeah, it's like a gravy for sure. Hey, Some excuse sort of my ignorance. What is tartar sauce? That's that like reddish, like... Sauce? May mayonnaise? I know it's, it's like watered down ketchup. <laughs> no. Well, that's, uh, no, that's that's something else. No, I would say tartar sauce is like, yeah, I guess relish with mayonnaise and other something else. So is this tartar sauce? Could that be like a mixture uh, of gravy and tartar sauce? I, I mean, let me try again. I mean, well, mm. I'm drinking some. Clear American. Clear American Peach. Clear American. If you're watching, please sponsor. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. 
I've been into seltzers a lot, and I have uh, to thank you. Yes. I mean, mineral water, seltzer, and it's club soda, same thing? I would think so. Um, it's added with salt. Like, they put sodium in it, but it is different. It's, they don't add, like, sugar. Okay. You know, it strives away. It's a soda alternative. Yeah, just like... For sure. What What is your take on uh, uh, mineral water that is uh, no shit world... This, this is this is when it becomes a little bit of a hot topic uh not hot topic but like are you into sweeteners in your seltzer water no. like nothing at no, all no i hate it. sweeteners you know what i know i just don't like it oh oh like, that's I, right i prefer just like plain stuff like i like every, like everything i consume is just plain like your coffee yeah. black black coffee um what else um shots like when it comes to like liquor just a shot don't be mixing it with anything else don't just give it to me straight not, not like, gay straight <laughs> hey man that's sensitive right yeah, there that was a pretty bad joke i know very bad. they're getting uh, canceled now <laughs> now we're canceled yeah. For our pilot episode yeah, and we're already canceled <laughs> hey no but uh, um um example the the lacroix you know how it has like different flavors yeah. like lemons and i don't know raspberry I'll drink it, but I won't buy it because it's just, I just like it simple, like Topo Chico. What is your, okay, okay. I have a friend there at the, at work that she does, well, she has this, I guess, I wouldn't call it a habit, but she likes to indulge in energy drinks, right? And you know, energy Ooh. drinks are really, either you could go with the sugary ones or you could go with the ones that are sugar-free, but true. are still, I mean, not necessarily it's good for you. Um, she did recommend, well, she asked for a recommendation and I did suggest, the, you know the bubbly that you come with all the uh, ahas that have some caffeine? Mm -hmm. This is more of a caffeine fix that she's uh, looking for. True. Um, so she, she's, she's, uh, she drinks coffee on the regular, I want to say, but have you tried those bubbly caffeine waters? There's, mm. there are also seltzers or I, I, sparkling. That's another not that, I, Yeah, water. you're right. Okay, so not that I can recall. I have seen them around. Um, I've tried caffeinated water. I mean, at that <laughs> point, that's just black <laughs> coffee, right? With no flavor, no bitterness. Yeah. Just hey, but I like, I like black coffee. You know, when mm. I started picking up in, on coffee, again, mm. I started um, with black. Ah. You know, and as of late, I started adding a little bit of creamer. Now, I don't go too crazy on creamer. And it's sugar-free, of course. And I said, of course, because I'm trying to you know, mm. add the indulge in, in the sugars. And as of late, you know, to contradict myself, now mm. I'm adding sweetener. <laughs> you know, just a little packet of a sweet packet of sweet and low. Um, but... How was I heading to this? Yes, <laughs> the portion of the caffeine, going back to that recommendation, the portion of the caffeine that you're supposed to take healthily, how many cups of caffeine um, of coffee? To, to be exact, the uh, FDA says that um, no, the regular human should consume no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine daily. 400 milligrams. Uh, that's a rough estimate how much is... Mm, I would say maybe like five, four to five cups of coffee. Four to five. You know what? The crazy thing about it, all, dude. I bought this uh, coffee maker, right? Oh. And in the pot, it says five cups, and it's that's the size of the of the okay. pot. It's five cups, dude. I consider a cup my mug, and my mug <laughs> is fifteen <laughs> ounces. That's a, one more ounce, and that shit's a pound. So right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Sixteen ounces is a pound, right? So I'm that's drinking right. a pound of coffee. And that's not. <laughs> it's it's kind of how these whole. Sometimes you know, I sip it and I'm like, oh, I'm like, just for the rest, you know? <laughs> that's why I no wonder sometimes I'm on water. Just super, yeah. yeah or right. jittery. Especially like when I, you're not used to consuming ca caffeine, you're just jittery. You're just like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> hey, you drink uh, 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 tea, right? Yes. You're more of a tea cons uh, consumption guy? or Maybe uh, like in the morning, I do enjoy drinking tea. You, you said that uh, you like Earl Grey? Mm hmm. Cool, cool, cool. See, me, I go with the plain old chamomile. Mm. Um, that's called in Spanish, it's yerba buena. Chamomile, yeah. It's dangerous though, to drink it in the morning. Why? 
to put you to sleep. Also, the black coffee, black coffee, black tea is is good for weight loss. Um, tea. Oh, excuse what me. is this? Excuse me, this is my alarm. I don't know for what, but <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we gotta wrap it up. <laughs> uh, no, um, so it's bad to consume chamomile in the morning because I would think it kind of drowses you, no? Because that's like a, like a relaxation sort of um, herb, no? And then now going back to the black, I don't know whether black or green tea it's, uh, helps promote weight loss. The green tea. Green tea. Green tea, because I think, if I'm correct, it has like, uh, yeah, it's just special vitamins and antioxidants. And antioxidants is more, mm -hmm. more of the... More of the proper term. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, that's a proper rating. I like the spice behind, you know, the seasoning uh, with the wedges. And it's of course, I mean, if you try the KFC ones, there really there is no spiciness ah, to it. Oh. I really like this. Okay. I'm not a big fan of this um, mayonnaise and gravy <laughs> combination. combination. <laughs> it's still hot. Um, hey. Fresh, thank you, appreciate it. I'm gonna dig on that a little bit later. To the trash? Now. To the, to the trash. trash. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that, you know. Uh, take a little sip on my feet. And I know, I'm gonna open up. See, every time I go to the store, I always see this St. Arnold's Summer Pills award-winning, crisp and refreshing uh, beverage, you know. Uh, I like the colors. Now. Very trippy. Very trippy. Now let's. I mean, you you already went ahead of me. I couldn't help myself, man. Like I just, I needed so something to drink. Cheers to that. Cheers. You yes. Know, you drink responsibly, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. You know, it, uh, I thought it was gonna taste nasty. Yeah. It doesn't. I'm not a big. Uh, I don't know too much about beer. Um, Me neither. I think uh, I kind of blew your mind when I told you that I really don't enjoy That's the right. taste of beer. That's right. And I do it just for the, of course, the 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 side the effects. Mood. <laughs> the mood. You know? The mood. Hashtag mood. Oh. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not like when people start talking about oh, like this beer was brewed and with hops and and wheat and. <laughs> Barley or Barney, I don't know. Barneys? Um, Food I, with Barneys? See, that props to you. I don't, I don't dive too much into that, you know. Mm -hmm. But beer is beer for me. I'm sorry, I might be no. hashtag ghetto. Mm -hmm. But uh, beer I, beer. Just, I just indulge. Uh, and I try not to overindulge nowadays. So tell me, what so, you been up to, man? Yeah, I'm just doing all the talking. Yeah, well, you're I doing mean. Doing all the tasting? And you went ahead of me? I did. I couldn't help myself, man. Like, I, one, I was thirsty, you know, because someone kind of didn't offer me, you know, a clear American. Oh, well, please you went us. right ahead. And you were like, well, we got to try this one first. <laughs> yes, we had to. Because it's just, you know what? It's the can to me. Did I say it was to me, Texas Oldest Craft Brewery? No. Boy, that's what it says. Wow. Texas Oldest, please uh, sponsor us, you know. Truly appreciate it. Um, but no, the, um, the reason I had to get it was because just the, the, the presentation itself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just crazy that like you say that you don't really like beer that much. Like you you think all beer is the same, but like I genuinely enjoy drinking beer. Like any you kind of beer. You enjoy drinking beer. I love beer. What is what? You know, it's just it's a taste. It's one of those things like, you know, when you're younger you, you think it's disgusting, you know? Like when you're young you drink it, you're like, Ugh, this is gross. But now that I'm older I'm just like I genuinely enjoy it. Like uh example, you I can tell the difference between like crap beer, like a like a two dollar beer. Or a dollar beer, okay. and like uh, like a five dollar beer. Well, I know it's not a big jump, but still, like. <laughs> I mean, of course you could taste. I guess you could, like, for me, for example, since it's not so uh, tasty to me, mm -hmm. like you could taste how you taste shit and even yes. worse shit. You know? Yes. It's like you could, you could, you could tell, but like when it comes to like pricing. And the difference mm. between the pricing of the beer and how it's supposed to taste based off the price again, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't. Like, if you give me a <laughs> blindfold me and give me just a, I guess, what's what's the most expensive beer you've paid for at a bar? I feel bad saying, like, I don't even remember the name, but it was at a Hoppy Monk. 
okay? It so was, uh, if they would have blindfolded you, mm. could you have guessed, oh, this is a top-notch beer? No. <laughs> okay. And then there's this anecdote. Oh, we went to the bar a couple years back, and then they just gave you a mixture. Oh, my gosh, yes. I don't know if they told you what it was, because I can't remember. They I, did, but I don't mm -hmm. even remember. Was, was that, does that taste like hell? You know what? It's weird. I remember that mixture. I I specifically remember that mixture because like they everybody kept looking at me, but I kept drinking it because like it, it didn't taste bad. It didn't taste gross. It tasted good. And um, when I when I let the bartender you know taste it, he was like, "Damn it, I messed up because this tastes pretty good too." Oh, okay. <laughs> so it kind of like backfired, but it did on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it benefited me, did not benefit them. So. So, okay. so after trying it after a few sips, what would you say? Would you, considering that you don't really drink beer for a flavor, would you buy this? Um, I'm, just, I'm not going to over explain it because I would just keep digging holes. <laughs> um, from a five star, I would give it a Ooh. 2.5. Oh, wow. 2.5 is rounded to three, okay? It's three. I'm okay. not going to be able to describe what it tastes like again because I'm mediocre when it mm. comes to beer. But would I try again? Yeah, why not? Would it be at the top of the list? No. What about you? It's all right. Mediocre at best. Mediocre <laughs> at best. Would I buy it again? No. Okay. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't. I'm glad I tried it. But I would not buy it again. Hey, yeah, and at least now we got that out of our system mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm a person that really goes with, yes. I guess, like the cover of things, you know? And since this is very, like, it catches your eye. It does. I could at least now say that, okay, this, I, I know what that tastes like. This is just straight up marketing right there. Oh, yeah. And I think we're talking about how IPAs, and some people oh, love man. IPAs. Dude, the, oh, the design no. of the cans are so, like, they 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 call they call yeah, for you, you know? <laughs> they do no they do and uh no yeah for sure but hey let's let's talk about something else that is not uh beer related all right sounds like a plan so how was your day sir <laughs> well my day is no you know what i'm pretty irritated uh -huh. what happened because one thing is that your car gets dirty when it, you know, drizzles a little bit, yes. and then when there's a sandstorm in the middle of it, so it now looks like, a, <laughs> you know, uh, I wouldn't know how to describe it, but just the dust mobile, right? And then to top it off, you got birds shitting up. Oh you. yes, you did. You? So regularly after work, uh, we we meet up at the park and mm -hmm. uh, we, we go do. And walk and run, and. Um, I, that one day, I parked under the tree in nice shade, and I'm pretty sure that was the day that this bird got, like, horrible diarrhea. Like, Picked dude, up a that, laxative. That shit was pretty intense. It was. Shit, it yeah. was just almost covering the whole back of your car. Yeah, almost. and um, you even said after you, you got out of the car, your car, I parked, you parked behind me, and you're like, dude, I, was, I saw that, and I'm like, dude, like, Immediately, I had to go to the gas station to, you know, get that. I, <laughs> just get that thing. razor blade anywhere you can find it. Just like start. So the back of my car right now is, I wouldn't say, you know, prestige clean <laughs> to a fullest, but it is cleaner than the other okay. three sides of my car. Good. And so, but that, that I call this irritation. Now, please understand, people that know me. That's why sometimes. There goes weeks in which I do not wash the car, yeah, especially ah, not in yes, summer. Yes, man. Because, dude, but all this week, if you would have cleaned this car after that snow, that snowstorm, that, that dust storm mm -hmm. and rain, haven't, hasn't there been just pure cloudy days after? And so drizzly. You don't know, and yeah, and drizzly. You know, drizzly. there's thunder over here, thunder over there, you can see. So. I just don't like the fact that, um, or like you can you can go literally weeks just not cleaning your car and then the one time you decide to clean is the next day it rains no that's not an excuse not to clean your car what? you know like <laughs> i'm an old-fashioned guy i don't go to car washes i have oh, my bucket here really? i have my sponge i have my caboncito 
<laughs> and then I just go outside and I clean. So one time we're going to go out and then I told her, hey, hold up, I'm cleaning my car. Mm. So you have to wait a little bit for me. That's but right. I do that. You know, I'd rather, you know, do it myself. And uh, I think it's just like a nice hobby here and there, you know. But not to be taken as an excuse. Oh, it looks crappy. Uh, I'm not going to wash my car. You know? you know what? And no and you know what that's a form of being productive and that's pretty cool because see i'm lazy i i just enjoy going to car washes because like you know in like less than a minute 60 seconds cleans everything i don't have to do anything i don't even have to get out of the car let's talk about hobbies now that you brought that up we we're talking about this earlier you and i are people that we mm -hmm. don't mind doing stuff uh by ourselves we don't like you go to the movies mm -hmm. by yourself. I do. Before, would you go to the theater, or do you mean like you watch a movie in your house? Oh no, no, I would go to the theater actively by myself. Like okay, so it it didn't like it wasn't like a second uh, what's it called second option. Like mm -hmm. it's not like if you were asking other people, they shot down the idea of the movie, oh, and then no. you're like, okay, I'll go by myself. You no. would just like just I'm go like, right like, uh, like party of one, like you were talking. There you about. go, party of one. Okay. Okay. And I would just go right for it. Like, what about you? Do you do, you do things by yourself? I go to, uh, I've gone to concerts by myself. Mm. And, um, you know, it. I wouldn't say sadly, you know, I was turned down the idea of going to see these bands. Uh, yeah. But, like, I already made, I had my mind made up, you know. So, like, here's the invitation. You want to go? Let's go. If you don't, I'm still going to go. Yeah. You know? like, <laughs> really don't like it or not. Because I'm going to go. That's why I'm inviting you, you know. If you want to hang out, then when they tell you, that's like, I'm okay. <laughs> So yeah, so I've got, so it's been concerts, I've gone to movies by myself, I don't recall, probably, mm. maybe, but, you know, I go to the park by myself, I go to window shopping by myself, mm. you know, I go to the gym, of course, by myself now, unfortunately, you can't join me. Um, at the moment. At the moment. Ah. Hey, but we're still going to get our, our, our cardio. And cardio, yeah. This is a cardio. Cardio is very important for us, we all know. Yeah. Heart. Especially no, for men. Dude, there's this method. I forgot it's, it's the name of the guy, but there's this method. It's the run, walk, run, walk. Now that method was I mean it's it's not rocket science, but it was bottled into a way in which people can use that wrong walk, wrong walk, mm. wrong walk. Uh for you not to get bored of doing cardio. Because okay. if you are a I guess a rookie in the sport of running <laughs> um and you go full ham running and running you'll burn oh, out God, just like yes. any any hobby oh, yeah. you know or any activity or not so that's why there's different um method of approaching the cardio you know right the wrong one you run what you run and then you can change your direction right mm -hmm. and then like you time yourself and all that so I feel instead of just running and running and running so but i i, th I think the thing is like um we have to remember that like walking or running isn't the only form of cardio like cardio is in different forms you know yeah, like you jump gotta rope choose your cardio mm -hmm. like for you what's your favorite card jump rope jump rope for yeah. sure and you know that yeah. jump rope now that you bring it up um a good 10 minute 15 minute session of jump rope with i guess 30 seconds in between wow. um is as good as a you know 13 or 10 15 minute uh, jog wow and it is more it is less, um, it hurt, I guess it's like less damaging to your joints, especially if you're overweight, because, you yeah. know, it's hard impact exercise. It is, running. straight up. Running is hard impact, and you know, I mm. have um, these noise canceling um, head, what, what, yeah, they're headphones, um, and you could really um, hear the impact when you're oh, running. It's like, boom, 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 like, yeah. like, boom, 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 boom. And once you take that off, you really can't hear mm -hmm. that, you know, and it's it's just like concentrated, just like full on impact to the joint. And I, I understand, you know, but it's, uh, you know, everything has, uh, I promise I'll shut up, but I want to put this, uh, <laughs> put this point across. Um, I guess any form of exercise is good for your body, That's your true. building body, oh, yeah. but at a point it does create stress, you know, you know, there's a lot of stories out there uh, that weightlifters their their oh hearts later on they give up on them because you know they overwork mm -hmm. even runners you know you You're have right. a soccer player dying in the in the field you know uh. I forgot the, the nationality and the team um not that it's, that it matters right but uh 
he died in the field, you know. That's and insane. he was young, he was, you know, healthy and he just dropped in the field and that is to show you. And I could see it because like especially uh, soccer players because like endurance is the name of the game. Endurance. They need to keep going and going. Like the Duracell battery, just keep going and going. And um so I, I understand like too much cardio and it's true. Too much cardio can be bad for the heart. I guess too much of anything. Mm -hmm. Excessive. There's this commercial, not commercial, but there's always the subtitles in Spanish commercials. And at the bottom, it would always say, uh, uh, Todo con medida. Ah, like yes. It, like, it, not extremely, <laughs> you know? And I'm talking about sports. You called me out this morning. Oh. You called me a, a, a poser, right? Because of the, the cap. Oh, I'm yeah. Wearing. Little 49ers so, cap, you know? So, yeah. Steelers. Call me a, call me a poser. <laughs> And I told you, I don't know anything about the 49ers <laughs> as of 2001. You know, the reason why what? I support the 49ers, mm -hmm. one, I bought, well, back then my parents had bought me the Sega. Well, wow. well, no, they bought me the game, the Sega. It was a gift. And they bought me the 2K, NFL 2K, wow. the first 2K release. And I had to choose a team. I was going, you know, like, I didn't want to pick the Cowboys, you know? Everyone you're just from Cowboys. Texas, you know the Cowboys, yeah. right? Um, I like that. Just happened to like the colors white, brown, and and uh, and red. Okay. And I just picked and I went with it, and I won the season with them, and we All just right. became best friends. <laughs> just know? like that, instantly. You know? And I could say that I dropped it afterwards. I'm right. like, I don't care about <laughs> this. And later on, as a poser, as a <laughs> hey, I, I, I stood, uh, you know, faithful. You did. To you the did. Team. Yeah, yeah. And back when they uh, were doing pretty good, I, I'm happy to say that I was one happy bandwagoner. <laughs> and that's when you grab your hat, you dusted it off, and you're just like. No, so this cap, actually, this hat, I bought it about a month ago. Mm. It was in discount. It was five dollars. Right, and it's a training cap. See, I didn't know that there's difference between caps. The training cap, you use it to train. Okay. There's a day to day cap. There's a cap That's to look nice. Please, I'm cap, cap, cap people. Please, please yes. in the comments down below, please. please educate us. Because, <laughs> hey, I don't train and I just go, you know, we just went to the store right mm. now and I'm, you know. And it says, I think it says on the side or something. Training, like training, yeah, right here. Yeah, training. Or either that or I could say, you know, I'm part of the <laughs> 49ers, you know, I'm in training right now. Well, sorry, dude. I just keep talking. No, it's okay, and it's pretty natural. Um, but you know, I've noticed the thing about you is like you're always wearing different caps, or at, le at least you have a cap on. Um, I've never worn caps because when I was in Domino's, I I would always wear a cap. At that time, I had my hair a little longer than I do now. Uh, oh, so you were walking some long hair. I was. It's not long, long. To me, it was long. It was like right here. It you would touch my your nose. Hair back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it was like a big mess dude it was just like a long i look like a mop you know wow. it was just like very long um but the reason i don't like caps anymore is because i started developing like like my hair started receding in the middle because i would always like put my hair back and then put the cap on see you put your hair oh no we whip oh, that's different well did you develop any uh bald spots Right here. Oh, in the back. In <laughs> the back? No. I, I hope not. A, I have two remolinos. So what is called? Like, oh, uh, yeah, the little swirls? Yeah. And then I guess as I grew older, mm. I wear a lot of caps. It's like, I'm not going bald, but like you can <laughs> see it more. But I, I have the luck of having good uh, genetics, and my mom had long hair you back know? in her uh, well, long hair days. Dude, honestly, it's genetics, genetics. You know, you can't buy that. <laughs> but no, it's. No, you can't. Buy no, it. you can't. No, it doesn't matter what you do. Like um, genetics, it really is, like plays a factor in everything. And Talk about uh, genetics. What is your favorite feature, like body wise? On me or in general? On you. On me? No, let's, let's talk about my you. winning smile. Your smile, very golden smile. <laughs> What was that joke that we Because your teeth are yellow. Oh, yeah, the golden, the golden smile. Golden smile because your <laughs> teeth are yellow. <laughs> hey, my teeth yeah. are not perfect. They're far from perfect, man. So don't, don't hey, be man, scared you, of you showing still have your teeth. golden smile. You still got your teeth, though, man. There are some people that are missing so many. 
So many teeth. Dude, the, the importance of cleaning your guys' teeth. Oh. Washing, flossing them. Super. Oh. I mean, I bit my tongue because I don't floss Ooh. every day. No. Do you floss every day? You know what? I do now. Toothpick. Okay, so here's the thing now. Um, recently, like a few days ago, I started water picking. Mm, okay. I, I've never, like, I've flossed before, but I've been, always been curious about water picking. So it's basically like a little stream of water that, like, you think it's nothing, right? But, like, when you actually use it, it's like this little stream of water, like, hits hard to, like, remove all, like, the gunk in your yeah, teeth. Yeah, like pressure. Yeah, it's like, and you think, like, it's like a pressure washer for your mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, you think, like, Ah, this is not gonna take anything out and then the one time I used it just all this crap just came out of my mouth and I was like oh that's that's disgusting yeah so and it is important like I, I, I sound like a like a flossing advocate it's like flossing is important but it is it actually no, is. and even like when it comes to picking even your like the toothbrush mm -hmm. some people are sensitive with some brushes uh, and other ones work for others doesn't for others and they're like hey that's right who wants stinky breath? Now, no, there's no, this, no. now there's this excuse of wearing masks. <laughs> and we don't have, oh, I forgot. Hey, do you think it's going to be a trend now? Not a trend. That's a healthy trend. The masks. Once I, we go back into a new norm, are the masks gone or the mask out? Uh, um, you know what? I think people are still going to be wearing masks. I think that's going to be a new norm moving forward. Oh, yeah. And you know what's crazy is that other countries, let's take Japan, for example, if they would cough or they felt sick, they would instantly wear a mask. So they were already used to that that sort of norm. Right. You know, putting a mask on anytime they felt sick. But then, like, here in the U.S., you know, you can have an employee just, like, sick as a dog, just coughing everywhere without a mask. That's you know, true. without thinking about thinking about it twice. Uh, in a way, you know, it's like uh, manners. You know, like, oh, I feel manners, sick, I'm coughing yeah. online, mm -hmm. just put that thing on. You know, you don't have to wear them. I mean, That's true. Uh, uh, they've been lifting the, the risk uh, okay, how you having to wear the mask you don't have to but like hey that's something that you could pick up now and you're like well I feel sick I'll just wear it and uh, becoming a new norm you know it's uh, are you feeling happy that what's coming back that has been gone for you for a while and you're happy to see it come back hmm. for me it's concerts what about you that's a good question you know what um, dining in Dining in, that's Dining true. in. There's still fast food joints yeah. that they're, they're not doing dining. That's Do you true. think that's also a game changer? Do you think a lot of them are just going drive through now? It depends. I think some of them might stay like that for a while because it benefits them. I mean, think about it. They have lower, to... Do lower cost, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes I think... Let's not get into it. Let's not get into it. You think sometimes? I'm not... Well, I hope oh. so, too. Um, but what was I going to tell you? Um, I think we were talking about the mask. Oh, what about you? How do you feel about, like, the masks moving forward? That's uh, I guess something, a tool that we could definitely pick up. It's been proven that, you know, it helped with the flu season. Mm -hmm, it did. And, uh, I mean, I did get sick. Apparently, mm. you know, I got tested and I was, it was, I just That's caught bad. a cold, a horrible cold. <laughs> I never felt like that. Oh. Um, but um, overall, I did, um, I did, I do believe that it helped a lot. You know, you know we've been uh, shown the evidence and um, would I keep wearing them? Just dep it all depends on where you're at. Because you, you you'll, you'll get the looks, you know. Oh, yeah. And people, you know, you, you feel that. Do you feel when people are staring at you? When you're like just like when, trying to play it cool, like, when you don't have a mask. No, no, in general. Or in general. Is it when someone is just you know mad dogging you or judging you? No, I you feel like feel it? no, I actually don't. It's like I, it's so weird because for women, they feel when men are like being yes, like, you know, dogs, you know. But like, I guess I'm just like so oblivious. Like I see nothing around me. I just see like my target, and I just move forward to go get it. And I want to make it clear. Also, men, I'm pretty sure they feel like. Hey, these girls are like <laughs> after after me too, you know. So, uh, I don't know. Man. Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt like people were looking at you, like at a store or oh. at a restaurant? You know, I've seen, I've caught people staring at me, mm. and then, but like I've seen it, like after actively seen it, I turn around and I still feel it. But I don't mm. know if it's like my mind, like 
thinking, <laughs> and making me believe that they're still staring. Or they could just have a simple like, <laughs> stare and then look away, you know? And, um... Have you ever, like, what do you do, like, when you make eye contact with someone? Do you keep looking, or do you immediately look away? Oh, well, it, it depends on the situation, you know? If you're coming across <laughs> uh, a hallway, right, and then you lock eyes... Just, just stare. I think that's creepy, you know, just, just stare. <laughs> stare at them. Right? Now, with the mask, it helps a lot, because you could... Uh, let's, let's, that's another talking point. But, like, do it, like... When you're just like looking around and you stop and then somebody's staring at you, it's like I don't know what to do. Like I just I just look down or up or like mm -hmm. like. You you know what was like the like I I'm probably gonna butcher the word. Um, for me it was a an amenity. Amenity. An amenity. An um. it, it was like it was like the like when I would put on my mask and sunglasses and no one could tell who I was mm. like that like anonymous. is anonymous yeah anonymous there Anon you go anonymous. it felt nice being anonymous just walking around with no one seeing my face can you, you know? tell when you're smiling? no I can you can? well no it's because people smile with their eyes also ah uh, see I, hold on wait 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 see like alright I have this mask right here I hope it's clean so Hey, you're smiling. Smiling. you're smiling. You're smiling. Yeah. You are. Like okay. Let's do, let's show it to them. Tell me when I'm smiling. Okay. Like you do. I could tell. Like I'll do, let's moves. see. I'll do it for me. Hold on. Hold on. I got my mask here. So let's see. So I'm smiling. Okay. Smile with your eyes. <laughs> uh, it's because, dude. My eyes squint, dude. I my eyes squint so much when I when I smile. Yeah, my mask is moving, so, see, this is my smile. I don't show my teeth because I am, uh... You got really pearly good. whites, you got those beautiful pearly whites. I got pearly yellows. <laughs> um, no, because, uh, they're not the best, they're crooked. I've always had a old fun fact. Oh. I don't know how, 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 I do not recall, you know those baby milk teeth? That yeah. they, they're uh, supposed to fall mm, off at a certain age? That's nature. right, yeah. I got, I nunca, never was I chinuelo. Really? Nunca, like, you know, like kids, like, wow. they have, like, even, like, the, the yeah. silver teeth. Mm -hmm. I never got that. My sister got that. Really? I do recall some because I would put, like, you know, hard objects in my mouth and some was, like, <laughs> right? Right. and I guess, like, that's when, like, the new ones, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm just contradicting myself, but, like, my front two, there are the crooked ones. They never fell off. I don't know if they're supposed to fall wow. off. Wow. But I've had these since I was young. You know, I can show you pictures. Wow. And I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I don't know if it's because, you know, the magic of the Lord. Probably. Or. Give you some. Dude, I just love milk. And doesn't. Or that's just, that's just man. like a um, myth. I don't know, man. Because the legend. <laughs> milk. <laughs> Dude, I, okay, now see, I don't know about that because I would literally drink a gallon of milk a day when I was a kid. A day? Yes, I'm not kidding. A gallon? Was it whole? No, <laughs> it was two percent because of my dad. He was diabetic, so oh, okay. <laughs> he he would only give me. I never had whole milk. I never, I never grew up with like the traditional child things, you know. You like never had the Almighty. <laughs> no, I. Oh God, <laughs> sometimes. Everyone, when I first oh, discovered you Hulk, feeling, you know, when you're feeling a little bit like top notch. I like, felt, you know what? I felt violated because I felt deprived of whole milk. That's why. Mm. And then I had to go back to two percent, and I got sad. See, like I, I, there's no issue for me with two percent. No. I got used to two percent. Mm. You know, I even, dude, I've, I've, I've dwelled into, dug into the world of one percent oh. and fat-free skim milk. Oh. You know, that's kind of water, oh, but dude, I don't, I don't, it but, is water. Yeah, I mean, oh. my mom hates the fact, you know, that um, I drink sometimes, you know, um, skim milk, but hey. I mean, it's healthy. Not necessarily. No. Fun fact, everybody's lactose intolerant. That's true. That is actually correct. That's a fact. Fact, people. Check. Fact check. <laughs> Comment on Facebook. Fact check us because they're on the Comment below. Comment below. Yeah. Um, we want to see. That's something that I heard, and it makes sense, you know. Mm. I heard this uh, little quote, you know. Well, not really a little quote. It's just some somebody saying, hey, you're not a baby cow. That's true. You're not supposed to yeah. be drinking cow's milk. 
Yeah. What is your take on soy milk, almond milk, I'll, rice milk? It's funny. I was actually going to ask you that. Um, like, how do you milk rice? Uh, you just, like, coddle it. And then you <laughs> and so like, squeeze it. Like you're, when you clean rice, you know, when you uh, mm -hmm. clean rice, the, the white stuff that comes out. Is it that? It? I'm, I'm not. No, oh, is it? Is the process it? behind Wait, it. wait, that's starch, no? I don't know. That, that I, is, yeah. Yeah, it's right. Arena, yeah, starch. Uh, so no, that, that can't be it. Then I don't know how the hell they milk. Oh, I think they blend it, no? I guess. That's like the most, uh, we could, we could. That's because I don't know. I would, Does that I would mean? tell you, dude, there's super milk out there also, super protein, super milk. milk. Wow. You should really? work it. No. I'm not putting it out there because, you know, uh, Asia and whatnot, but like, that's what I read in an article. Asian markets carry roach milk. Is it like. And I'm like, what the hell? How like, do they gather that? Why milk? just Asian? Why isn't it at Walmart? If it's a super protein, super milk, why isn't it available at supplement stores? It's because if you think about it, it's, it, it all has to deal with the culture. Because like, as we all know, you know, the Asian culture is, you know, a little more open. No, to things, not necessarily. You know? It's here, there. That's when uh, I think I'm going to uh, don't agree with that. Because, really? I mean, what defines somebody as extra or oh. more of a broad, you know, culture, you know, in South America, you got people eating mm -hmm. burritos, cockroaches, right? Or or chapulines, you know? Oh, the dry, yeah. You know, here I've done, you know, there's a lot of you know, like dried worms. And mm. they come in or crickets. It's like, what? But you wouldn't, it's good. But if you think about it, you don't see those kinds of things. Like here in America, if you go to like a regular restaurant, you're not going to find like insects on the menu. That you know of. Explain. Well, I mean, what if we go to a... God damn it, we just take calls here. Don't try it. I wouldn't <laughs> try cockroach milk. Like, in what correct... Mind? Dude, I'm scared of cockroaches to be <laughs> one. <laughs> and the fact, that, the fact that you're drinking their milk. <laughs> there really has to be some, hopefully, like good studies behind it all. Uh, that it, it really <laughs> provides high-protein... Uh, um, source to your body and that you know that mm. all these supplements don't quote me are not regulated by the FDA that is correct I did hear about that what? that is actually correct and um, all these it, people plugging their yeah. their own pro uh, and powders and there can be three different types of protein that do the same thing but they all have different ingredients in it yeah. that i did hear about so like that you could hear something like oh mine doesn't have uh, sucralose oh mm -hmm. mine doesn't have uh, whey x y and z like organic yeah. protein yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. like okay cool story but it's not regulated at a full by the fda that's true like they don't wait for your clearance. They could, so they like they could just claim these things, but it doesn't really have it. Like and I, I wonder how it works. Is there like okay, like a waiting period mm. that you gotta wait to like to check your product? Because of course they're not gonna let you put know. like you know poisonous stuff in the shelf. That's a good question. I don't know. Up to what point do they let you release stuff? That's my mm. question. Please drop it in the comments. Down when there. that's right, and that does make sense because like there are so many companies out there, like so many and and. In the past, you used to, you used to have to go to, uh, what is it, GNC or like Vitamin World to get all these supplements. But now, since we have the power of the internet, you know, any company can be like a specialist, a specialty company mm -hmm. and sell whatever they want now. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's, 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 that's a, hey, we're full of fun facts today. Anyway. Does that mean that uh, we're going to find cockroach milk in uh, the local GNC now? Hey, if it's if it does what it it says in that article, super protein. Would you try it? What I would. Capsules? I would. A I capsule? wonder how they're gonna if that ever happens or if that is happening. I wonder how they sell it. Like capsule. Like capsule. Like what? Protein. Like capsule. Capsule. Like like I don't like. It's like how many cockroaches do you have to milk? <laughs> to to like fill like, this up like a tiny do they have tiny udders like how like 
Do they get little tweezers and they're just like, like, like that is interesting. It's like that episode of The Simpsons that's always ingrained, like when they were milking rats. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. With a cafeteria milk. And they were putting it into like, yeah, they were getting out at schools. They were giving the the milk in schools. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan. Well. Of the Simpsons, are you a big fan of the Simpsons? You know what? I used to be. Not More anymore. of a family guy. Uh, I know it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really fall in the same category because well, it kind of does, but what, do you what, what, what are these? Are they like? I would say they're like parodies of life, no? Yeah. But see, Family Guy is a little more edgy, of course. Mm-hmm. Cool thing, both of them are up to date. That's true. You, know, you keep watching their new stuff, of course, just like South Park. It's up to date. And you know what? Actually, you know what? There's actually something I need to bring up because it's it's been pissing me off like since since like day one. All these family sitcoms. Have you noticed that like it's always like the husband that's like this big fat dorky guy, and then like the wife is just like this smoking hot, you know, slim, slim character, and then they always have like two or three like sons or daughters. No, okay, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, but do you think that's like a left behind kind of situation now? Do you think nowadays it's like more of a like Mike and Molly? They're okay, both okay. overweight, ah. you know. And now let's compare it to King of Queens. He was overweight, mm, he smoking, was. smoking wife, right? Mm-hmm. Smoking hot wife. Um, what else? George Lopez. He was not the best he looking was, guy. He, but he was kind of like a dunce, era un poco mancito, no? Like he was George. George uh, he was just like a hard head, no? He was the stereotype ex- yeah, Hispanic. That's Hispanic. True. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, sucks to say but the airhead wife uh, right yeah. so it's like in a way it's also a parody of mm-hmm. life you know you have this mix match that's true kind of deals but like when when have you ever seen like the opposite you know of like uh, of like you know not to sound rude but like well like a fat wife yeah, and like a skinny to sound husband rude, of course yeah. uh, uh, it could always be everybody hates Chris I mean they were both I guess um uh, in a perfect world, in a That's current true, world, yeah. they were, they seemed like an everyday couple. Yeah? That's true. Not so extreme, you know, like the fat mm. and the skinny. The polar opposites. That's you true. Think that's one, the Cosby Show. The Cosby Show. Um, another one that made no sense, but he was a smart fella, was Fresh Prince, you know, Uncle oh, Phil. Oh, great, and great then, show, um, yeah. Uh, what was the aunt uh, Vivian? Vivian. So I mean, he was, you know, this big guy, big guy, really smart mm-hmm. guy, really powerful. You know, yeah, he was. Strict. I liked him. So I guess that made up for you know his overweight. Probably. That's true. See, like, and that's different, you know, like because in that you're right. He was he power. He showed power. He showed knowledge. He showed discipline. You know, yeah. and I think that's what I liked about like those shows. But like when it comes to like all these, like, oh, perfect example. Um. Modern Family. Uh, you know, I've never watched it. I know what you're talking about with uh, Sofia Vergara, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's look at let's look at like um, Phil's family. That you, you know? I don't know who Phil is. No. So um, it's the one with like the the two daughters and the son, and the son's like pretty stupid, and the the. the, the I'm trying to remember what the, the wife does. It's a blonde wife, and then the the husband is like a real estate agent. On that show? Because mm-hmm. there's like three families. Okay. Oh, so it's not just one family? No. It's just, it, it all involves... It's like three families, but they're all connected because they're all related. Mm. So what I'm like, what I'm trying to say is like the husband, he just played like this like dumb guy. He's just like, oh, like do 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 And it was just like... Oh, and there it is. There is a stereotype. Yeah. Uh, in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. Sitcoms are stereotypes. That's true. That sells. Because it does. do you think it does. it's because there's a connection? our lives you know i think i think it's just like we're just used to seeing that sort of format i think that's what it might be see i'm not gonna say who but they told me you know i watch the kardashians not because i believe all this bullshit Mm. but because it is so dumb that it entertains me what do you think of that you know what i haven't seen the kardashians i've seen it yeah back in the day it's been a long running show wow long running i don't know how many seasons i think it already ended but when I heard that, I was like, I was like, why would you watch that? 
I'm like, you know what? I, I don't watch it. I would think it's just. I think it's cool. I just watch it because it's background noise. I mean, because mm. it's so dumb that it entertains me. I'm like, okay, okay. I would think it's just, um, just the drama, no? Like people just like the drama. People just like seeing Big like drama, intensity. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? Here's to all these people, all these celebrities, you know, um, having their own reality shows. People hate on you, mm -hmm. but they're, dude, they're, you know, hardships, but dude, they are, I don't believe that being in the top is easy. No, I don't not think at all. that level of success or climbing that high comes easy. So, and that's because there's behind that, there's hard work. That's true. And, oh. We want, like it or not, yeah. What about you? Would you want to be up top one day? World, Before world I renowned. Let's 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 narrate it to uh, my passion, which is music, right? Okay. Yes. Would Miguel want to be the most famous musician out there? I would love to, but then that's when that mentality came. Dude, mm. how stressed would you be? How True. the hard work behind it. You know, there's no shying away from the hard work. If you like doing what you do. That's right. You know, come whatever it may. But, dude, there's so many cases in which you're not, you reach the top and you're not even happy. And that's when you're like, ah, uh, wanting to grab more. Just you know? to, yeah. For me, and, and success is subjective. It is. Right? It's, you know, it could be whatever it is that you want to reach. But to me, to answer your question, I would just like to make a living up of the art. You know, or whatever it is that I'm doing, you know, or that I'm studying, or that you're studying, or whatever you're gonna do in life, or whatever. It's just being able to live off of that. And then whenever anybody tells you that, are you mm -hmm. doing this shit for money? Like, dude, we got bills to pay, and hey, like, like I, I gotta take care of me <laughs> and my loved ones, you know. Would okay, would that mean that anyone that is making content? to to make a living is a sellout making content so living is a sellout no like or, any or, kind of content or like once they start getting yeah like the typical sellout like would you okay let me let me simplify the question let's say let's say um you're following your path and it's getting hard right and then this company is like hey well we'll pay for everything you know you're just gonna talk about our product you know would you become a sellout to live off of your your dream? Well, I'll just say this: there's no shame in uh, not staying stagnant. Oh. So if that sellout is okay. gonna mount you to another level, why not? You go for it. Okay. Why not? But it makes sense though, like, because yeah. to a certain extent you have to, like. Yeah. Because then you, of course, if you want to go to a higher level, mm -hmm. if you're okay there at a level of success and you're like, okay, I reached it, mm -hmm. and this is where I like to stay because I like this, that's, right. that's fine. Because you already reached that goal. Okay. And that's helping you, you know, feed your necessities. But if you want more, do it. True. Uh -huh. But what about you? Would you sell out? You sell out. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> without like, without a doubt in my mind, like, and that's when I I realized, like, yeah, without the, a doubt in my mind, I'll say yeah. Dear I'll viewers, would you sell out? Yes. Please let us know. Comment down, you sellouts. <laughs> so, do you think this is a nice place to end it here? You know, I think it is. I mean, we uh, first pilot. Well, I mean, that sounds stupid because the pilot always first. Um. So is the next one going to be episode two? Yeah. I think we did a good job on okay. this one. Um, you guys, uh, it's just two single guys in the room. Who knows what can happen? <laughs> no, um, it's all serious. It's like if you guys got here, cheers to the end. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and uh, I had a fun conversation. Wedges, I'm going to eat more right now. I'm not a big fan of the sauce. He's lying. <laughs> and this beer. St. Arnold Award winning summer pills. Not bad. Not bad. Any last words, Mr. Pooh Bear? You know what? All I can say is that I hope uh, our viewers will see us next time.
and there and there it is. So, uh, party of two now. Come to a close. Comes to a close. Later. Night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Thank you. Good night. That's cool. All right, man. It's a pilot, so.